Data's Collection Schedule and the Credit as Payment Schedule. We are going to focus firstly more on the Data's Collection Schedule, but let's just tackle a bit of theory on both. A cash budget for a retail business must include the cash that is expected to be generated from sales and the cash that is expected to be paid for trading stock. So the first one is receipts and the second one is cash payments. When goods are sold for cash, money is received immediately. So expected cash sales for a particular month are simply recorded as a cash receipt for that month. Similarly, projected cash purchases of trading stock for a particular month are recorded as a cash payment for that month. Money is paid immediately. When dealing with credit sales and credit purchases, the process becomes a bit more complicated. Debtors arising from credit sales usually settle their accounts within a three-month period. While well, creditors from credit purchases are normally paid over a similar period. For this reason, the debtors collection schedule and creditors payment schedule are normally prepared before the cash budget is drawn up. <laughs> so we are going to focus on the debtors collection schedule in this video. So we are given some information as an example, the actual and budgeted credit sales of Northern traders are as follows. We are given the various months of credit sales. We are giving the actual credit sales for January and February as we have that historic data. We are not yet in March and April, that's futuristic. So we have budgeted credit sales, that which we expect to sell during those months on credit. Then we are given uh, an indication of our historical reality, what we know from the past. Debtors usually settle their accounts as follows. 50% pay within the month in which the sale took place. 30% pay in the following month. 15% pay in the second month after the sale. So we now already have 50, 80, 95%. So there's still a 5% remaining. That 5% is written off as irrecoverable or bad debt in the third month. Required. Prepare the debtors collection schedule of Northern traders for the period 1 March 2017 to 30 April 2017. So we can see it's for our two futuristic months, March and April. So in terms of the structure, we will have the data collection schedule for the period 1 March 2017 to 13 April 2017. We have a column where we will insert the dates like January, February, March, April, etc. We have the actual credit sales for each of those months column. Then we are going to do calculations to determine for the months that we are interested in what we will collect in those months for cash as the debtors pay us pay off their accounts. 
and then we also have a column to indicate that which we write off as irrecoverable or bad debts. <coughs> okay, so we start with the January data. So we just systematically work through this. So January, we had actual sales of 90,000. So in our credit sales, we have the 90,000 as the actual credit sales. Now, we follow what we know from past experience. Let's call it our recipe. We just go systematically through our recipe. So the first step. 50% pay within the month in which the sale took place. So in January, we expect 50% uh, will pay in that month. So we will receive 50% of 90,000. <coughs> but now January is not one of the periods required, so we can safely ignore that. <laughs> then we move to the next step in our recipe. 30% pay in the following month. So what's the month of the January? February. So we need to look at February. And again, February is not one of our months that we are required to do for our budgeting. So we can safely ignore. So we move on systematically to the first step of our recipe. 15% pay in the second month after the sale. So that would be March. And we are interested in March because March is two months after January. So we have to calculate 15% of 90,000. <coughs> and we obtain 13,500. That's what we expect to collect in March for the January credit sales. And then we move to our final step of the recipe. 5% is written off as irrecoverable in the third month, which is this month of March. So 5% of 90,000. That's what we have to calculate. And that gives us 4,500 Rand. So we are done with January's actual credit sales. We have indicated what we expect to receive in March and write off as bad debt. Now we systematically move on to February, where we had actual credit sales of 80,000 Rand. We follow our recipe, 50% pay within the month which to the sales took place, so we expect 50% to pay in February. But once again, February is not one of the required months. So we move on to the next step, 30% pay in the following month, which is March, which is one of our months we are required to budget for. So we have to calculate therefore 30% of 80,000. We obtain 24,000 in March. Moving on to the next step, 15% in the second month. So that would be April. So we have to calculate 15% of the 18,000. We obtain 12,000 in April. <laughs> is to write off the bad debts also in that month of April, so 5% of 80,000. And we obtain 4,000 Rand. So we are done with our second month, the actual credit sales of 80,000. So now we can move on to March, which is a futuristic month. We are currently budgeting for it. So we expect 100,000 rands worth of credit sales during the month of March. So, in March, we know we have expected credit sale of 100,000. We follow our recipe. 50% pay within the month, which is March, 
in which the cells took place. And that is what we are interested in. We are interested in March, so 50% of 100,000 is 50,000 Rand that we expect to collect in March. Next step, 30% in the following month, which is April, which is one of our months. So 100% of 30 or 50% 50 of 100,000 is 30,000 expected to be collected for April. Next step, 15% by in the sec second month after the sales. <laughs> so after April is May, which is not our required budget period. So we can safely ignore that one. The same for the bad debt. It won't be in the equation yet. So we move on to our last month. It's in the future. So we have expected credited sales of 120,000. We follow our recipe. In that month, April, 50% we expect to receive. So that should be 60,000 Rand. We move on to the next step, 30% in the following month, which is May, which is outside our budgeted period, so we can safely ignore all the rest of our recipe. We can add up our columns, so in totality we expect to receive 87,500 as cash in March. 102,000 in April. So these two amounts we will insert in our cash budget under the receipts for March and April respective. Bad debts is simply a book entry so it won't go in the cash receipts or cash payments. In fact you'll see we won't do much with it in um, grade 11. We just make you used to it. In grade 12 we will focus more on the bad debt aspect. Um, when we are analyzing um, or doing H analysis.